Hunnigan, what happened? The transmission got cut off. <laughs> Salazar, how'd you... We've jacked the line. We didn't want you telling everyone any unnecessary information. Where's Ashley? Ah, oh, so she fell into one of our wonderful traps. We'll make sure we find her. Don't you worry about her. Oh, yes. I let our miserable insects out for some exercise down in the sewer. Thanks. That should keep me company, because boredom kills me. I look forward to our next encounter. In another life. It does not apply to this game. Hey, is it going to apply to the next game? Yes. Okay, noted. All right. Anyways, uh, hi viewers, guess what? I got a guess and it's not Chaz's rad. It's not? No, no. Lied to me. Owl I'm, flame. I'm gonna leave now that you've lied to me. Son of a gun. Guess what? Okay, two things. One, I'm going to the, like the scariest part of the game in my opinion. Two. Shit. And I have to watch it at like two frames a second? Yes. Oh. Doesn't that make you feel special? I just wanted to let you know that on at least in on my end, this is this is slightly less than three frames a second. That, that's fine. It's probably delayed a little bit. It's probably wrong. So, I gotta tell you something. I got over horror survival games. And what the? Ugh. Yeah. So I'm just gonna point out that uh, that camera shot of you walking down the hallway, the way the camera looks. Yeah. That looks really good. No, oh, that's good. I'll be honest, I'm playing the PlayStation version. I'm used to the uh, GameCube version. That guy does not spawn there. And these guys are a pain in the ass. I'm not even gonna lie, these guys. They can turn invisible, they can climb up walls, they remind me of the liquor. And they like to do a lot of stealthy crap. Actually, they kinda remind me of the driver. The driver. No one's gonna understand that. Man. Yeah, I know. You, you, you keep bringing. Yeah, fuck it. It doesn't even matter. One of these days, viewers. One of these days, we're gonna talk about the driver. But okay, anyways. Um. So, this was like the first game that I actually played that I have to say was probably where I was coming to terms with horror survival games. And, uh, dude, this guy is not supposed to do that. The game's breaking on you. A little bit. I, I think Wait. it's just because I'm playing a different version of the game. Keep game, which has the physics of the monsters are more incompetent. No, the monsters are much more competent in this game. They're actually doing stuff. Some are like put in different places that they are in like the original. For <laughs> the difference between versions of the game. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if that's like if they add that in made the AI a bit more intelligent or whatever, but. It's completely different from what I'm used to because normally what they do is they're down in that little pit right there. That's where you first get introduced. Like you just walk down there, you're like you're thinking nothing because there's like something invisible. You think that like that little splash well, right that's there. Invisible? I thought it was really aggressive piranhas. In one foot of water. Yeah. Anyways, I like to do that. Yeah. Because they pretty much are just stationary in this one section, not even moving, but clearly they're a lot more competent, so I have to be a lot more careful, if you will. What is stopping you from going down there and going to the other ladder? Oh, man. If you only knew. But yeah, so this this is the part that actually... Okay, when I first played Resident Evil 4, like, I was coming to terms with horror survival. This was the first game that actually made me man up and actually go through situations and I gotta say this was probably the most unsettling in the entire game because of invisible enemies no you're in a sewer system great 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 way to introduce me to this game bro you're in a, a sewer, sewer system you got like sewer. invisible insect toyed enemies just that pretty much come at you at random or it's seemingly random. All my fans. I've never played Resident Evil 4. So yep. I'm actually I actually have to explain this to him. That's something I never thought I had to do, period. So you get introduced to this new enemy that you haven't seen before. They're kinda horrific if I do say so, but I don't know. I, I still find the liquor much more sadistic. 
priority of my sewers right now would there be like torches everywhere? Yes. Why? If you live in a rural part of Spain. Can we just someday travel to Spain and enter their sewer system just if to see if- If you pay for your plane ticket, we can. Uh, sure. Okay. Also, so, these so, eyes that they drop are a uh, treasure and they'll come into play soon enough. And okay. I'm getting my ass handed to my- They're just handing my ass to me. Man, ever this is actually one of those games I would love to let's play because everything looks like something else and I can just say that live. Like, for example, all these things you've been picking up, they look like mini pizzas. Do they? Yes. <laughs> now I'm hungry again. <laughs> I actually ate some pizza, despite the fact I'm on my, uh, diet. Yeah, I had a little bit of a cheat meal right? today. It was delicious. Didn't eat nearly as much as I was going to. The problem as one of, my, one of my relatives, otherwise known as my father, as I have no reason to hide this information, All right. when, when he couldn't eat red meat, because him eating red meat would lead to his whole body rejecting his entire immune system. Ow. That, that so, has to suck. He essentially would. He this was like a thing that happened to him when he was take when he was like taking this specific medication because of a some not cancer but like a just like four steps below cancer mm -hmm. in terms of severity. And he had to take this medication and he couldn't eat red meat. Unless I thought you had that, but no. No, You're no, just, I'm just on a diet. He's healthy, and I'm just like. Motherfucker, red meat is really healthy for you. It's good, but it's expensive. See, my diet isn't to emphasize like health or uh, weight loss. By the way, viewers, I'm on a diet. Just thought I'd announce that. Um, it's actually to benefit being on a budget, and red meat is a lot more expensive than white meat. Anyway, back to the uh, back to the pizza gathering and then the scare happens. Actually, this is a really interesting file. It talks about like real life parasites <laughs> that could take <laughs> over the host like it's an act it's a legit yeah. thing so it's like a it's like a cell that gets into your body no no like, uh, i actually know this um there's there's a type of fluke in uh, its larval stage it'll get in it's like okay that <laughs> came out of random see that's so, why i you gotta be cautious in this one area because it's the sewer level and they suck. No, well, they don't yeah. have to suck. I just want to tell developers this: they don't have to suck. It, they it, don't. It's fine. It's fine. Um, I I totally lost my train of thought. <gasps> I forgot about these. Go on. Oh, something about par okay. There's like a type of flu that gets in by slugs and in like their adult stage and. Uh, when the fluke reproduces and has eggs, like the like the mucus trail left by the slugs contains the eggs from the fluke, which get eaten by ants. And when they hatch, the larva kind of takes over the ant's brain. They'll go over, bite on like a like the end of a grass blade, and uh, that'll get eaten by a rabbit. What the fuck? And. I'm trying to remember. This is the most specifically caused apocalypse I've ever heard in my entire life. What are you talking about? Whatever God, I wish I researched like this one thing that I'm trying to talk about a little bit more. But so it's a it real thing. Slugs, which do a thing, which no. get <laughs> pets, which get which eat plants, which get eaten by rabbits, which get eaten by condors. No, I'm serious. It's it's a real life. Parasite life cycle. Oh, this is an actual thing. It's that an happened? actual thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought this was like no, was no. Like... I mean, okay. The whole thing in this game is there's a parasite. It doesn't have to do with the T virus. That's kind of why I told you forget everything about Resident Evil, because yeah, but... the T virus uh... does not apply to this. Also, we got a piece of treasure, right? So these eyes that we've been picking up actually can combine with that. Take the pizzas! Ooh, that one's red, covered in pizza sauce. And that one's green, covered in lettuce. <laughs> Veggie sauce. I don't know why I, I want I want someone to make a tomato sauce, but instead of tomato, use lettuce. How about basil? How about pesto. How about fuck those ideas? No pesto for the 
monster is delicious. 